begins. What's poppin' people? You already know me, it's Nunez in the FGC, formerly known as MSD, and today we're starting episode one. I know last episode was like a little trial thing, a little episode zero, um, but hopefully everything's a lot better this time around. The volume, I think I figured it all out. We're back in this, baby. We're back in this hard, heavy, hidden every time. And here we are with a little cynical. Uh, let's do a quick little team recap, and then we're going to go into what we're doing here. So first off, we have my boy, Syndical. Look at him, man. Look at him. He's adorable. Level 10, just to start off. Uh, definitely the wrong nature, uh, but it is what it is what it is. And we have Eon. So, um, we have to go ahead and talk to this young person over here. This this little dude. This uh, Actually, it's a cop. Never mind. Ha! Anyways. <laughs> Um, so what are we doing here? We are doing the Pokemon Fitlock Challenge. If you guys never heard of this, uh, it's something that I created many, many years ago. Where basically, for playing this Pokemon game, I get physically punished and have to do a certain amount of miles run per episode. I'm gonna go into all the rules here, but I'm also gonna put all the rules in the uh, description. Uh, but we're gonna start off by naming our rival, our nemesis. And what's the opposite? Of living a good life, having to be on a diet. <laughs> That's just facts, though. That's just facts. That is everyone. Uh, you see me looking down because I'm actually playing this on real hardware. Um, yes, yes, yes. So you're not going to see a whole lot of speeding up throughout this entire playthrough. Uh, so real quick, real quick. I'm just going to get into the rules. And uh, hopefully we just have a good, good episode here. Um, first off, it goes pretty much by like normal uh, Nuzlocke rules. But if you're familiar with those, rule number one is like, you can only catch one Pokemon per area. That's pretty standard for these kinds of challenges. So route one is its own encounter, route two is its own encounter. Um, and then rule number two would be like, if you happen to meet a Pokemon on one of those routes, and you can't catch it for whatever reason, you have to forfeit that one. Um, there is also a clause where it, it's called a species clause, where say route one, you encounter a Pidgey, route two, you encounter a Pidgey. Uh, you're allowed to re-roll your second encounter, because you've already caught a Pidgey. Um, and then, that's kind of like rule three. Rule number four is, if a Pokemon faints, it cannot be healed or reused ever again. So, that's going to be like a pretty rough challenge, right? Because, now, this isn't normal uh, Silver. This isn't normal Soul Silver. This is a remixed version that's supposed to be much harder. Um, I did play this a little bit. Uh, some time ago, but it's been a long time and uh, Yeah, hopefully 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 uh, I actually kind of wish I like I, I hope I don't remember too much. I'm sure things will click as I'm playing it But I want this to be pretty much like a new experience for me. I also have not completed this ROM hack So we'll see how we do with that um, So I have another rule rule number five where each gift event and static Pokemon counters their own encounters so, for example, in the very first episode, we encountered... Well, I'm going to call it episode zero, right? But in that episode, we encountered a uh, an Eevee. Alright, we actually don't have to do the tutorial, thank goodness. Uh, so that is its own thing. I, that does not count as the encounter for that route. But this right here is our first encounter of the entire Fitlock. And it's a Rattata. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I was kind of hoping to be a centric, not gonna lie. I, I need my boy for it. I need him in my life. Um, actually, I don't know if I can just catch this. It's gonna be oh, 15 Pokeballs. Right, we got it, we got it. Anyways, so like I said, this is a physical challenge for me to get fit. Um, I had more than a few scares throughout my life um, dealing with obesity, which is stupid because that wasn't always the case. Um, many moons ago, uh, I actually had a uh, a pretty fit body, not gonna lie. So, I, I like I was I didn't start off fit. I was a fat kid. I ended up being a pretty decent shape for my my young adult life. And now in my God, I'm 28, dude. In my late 20s, ugh, I don't like that. Uh, in my late 20s, I'm just fat again, dude. So I need to work on it. I need to work on it. And we one shot the Rattata. Oh, that's bad. So this is an unfortunate but very good example of I cannot re-encounter another Pokemon here for the chance to add it to my team. I, I forfeit the encounter here. I 
450 encounter. That's so sad. <laughs> but yes, anyways, going back to the um, to the whole point of this is like I just want to be fit. So in order to make it a kind of like fair, um, my mileage is determined by the Pokemon that faints if one happens to faint. So for example, if uh, let's say the worst would happen, um, if this Eevee, this Eon falls at level five. That's it. Five miles. Right off the bat. It's a hard, it's a grueling punishment, but I need that motivation. I need that for me. And this video series that I'm creating is proof of purchase. It is to let you guys know that I am out here and I'm proving something. I'm proving like I'm out here. Also, every episode I'm going to go ahead and display right now. I'm going to be putting a picture of my scale. My scale is pretty cool and it gives me like a whole like breakdown of my body and everything and it's telling me like my muscle mass my BMI um, and I'll post that progressively with pretty much every episode every third day pretty much so I hope you guys are able to enjoy watching the growth and I hope you guys join along with me that'd be awesome if you guys did if you guys end up doing a fitlock of your own please let me know I would absolutely love to see you guys do it and progress with it I I'm rooting for you guys just as much as I hope you guys are rooting for me um, so, on that same rule about the mileage, obviously my boy is level 10, right? Level 10 is pretty up there. You think I can run 10 miles? You're out of your goddamn mind. I haven't ran 10 miles since cross country back in 2013. God, uh, go. <laughs> That's not happening. Alright, so, in order to make it fair, like, if I were to have a Pokemon and double digits fall, it would be catastrophic. But I wouldn't be able to run 32 miles. I wouldn't be able to run 56 miles, you know, however far we make it. So the whole point is that we're going to make it for Pokemon in double digits. We take the two digits separately. So I have like, I have a level 33, or no, let, let's do like a level 35 Pokemon. It would be the larger one minus the small one on that one. So it would be, for that Pokemon, would be like two miles. I know that sounds kind of cheap, but if I'm losing Pokemon like that, it's probably a bad day. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm probably losing a bunch of Pokemon at once, and it's not going to end well. So like, if the worst were to happen, like say I lose a Pokemon that's like level 71, I'd run 6 miles. Like, it's not going to be a good day. Um, and that's why I'm going to try and keep this upload schedule to a 3 day basis. Uh, the exception was, I, Episode 0 was uploaded like, I think over a week ago. Um, but I had a lot of issues, you know, with personal life. Personal life is always going to take precedent, right? Because like, I'm a father, uh, my wife is pregnant with kid number 2. And uh, we're just gonna have to like do what we can. I don't always have the most time. I'm also gonna go back to being a full-time student, working a full-time job. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, it's just it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> um, now we might have some good episodes. Like pretty early on, I don't expect Pokemon to faint, right? So, for example, if we go through this entire episode and no Pokemon falls, and you can already see this at the very bottom of the screen because this has already taken place. If no Pokemon fall within one episode, if we don't lose anyone, it's an automatic three miles. I want to make sure that this is a thing for me. And Metapod is our Pokemon for this encounter. Dude, that sucks. <laughs> dude, that's actually really bad, dude. Like, I can't do anything with that. That's gonna be like switch grinding this entire time. That's gonna be really, really rough. I don't know how I'm gonna... Because now, if we want to get Butterfree, we have to make it up to level 10. To add to that, the first Pokemon's a Flying Gym. And I believe this ROM hack adds as many Pokemon as they need to get it to level 6. So this is going to be less than ideal. <laughs> Perverse Revolution by Hardening and Michelle. And of course, you know, we got to give a little nickname here, right? Um... This oof in all caps so there is another thing this is pretty much my last rule and it's a, uh, a rule that I think keeps it very interesting is that for these challenges I cannot have more than two of the same or more than one of the same primary type so what I mean by that is like if I had like a uh, the syndical and then I also had a Ponita I'd have to choose one or the other like one would have to go into the box however if I have a Vaporeon and I have something like an Almanite, 
I could keep those on the same team because the primary typing only refers to the first one and Omnite's primary typing would be a rock type. So we have a lot of leniency, but at the same time, um, no, we don't. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, it's been a while since I played. I can hit all these apricots, apricorns again. I always call them apricots. Uh, I have a bad tendency to call them apricots lately because um, my wife has this uh, pregnancy app, and this pregnancy app will tell you the size of the fetus in you, and so. She loved it. She absolutely loved it. I cannot do anything with my hair right now, bro. Do I have a hat? Oh my gosh, I had my headset on this entire time. I didn't realize that the music was playing through the DS as well. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that's gonna sound awful. <laughs> and I can't do anything about it in post. <laughs> Anyways, um, basically what I'm trying to say is like, when it became the size of an apricot, she told my mom. And my mom absolutely loved it for whatever reason. So they always referred to Evie when she was developing as the apricot. It's not like it's my favorite fruit or nothing. It's just that that's the whole that's all the lore there is behind that. Dude, so we have five potions. Hmm. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. I think um uh, you still have like a bad ability. <laughs> Shed skin. That's not the worst. Okay. <sighs> okay. So we're definitely gonna have to switch right here. I don't know how strong this first trainer is, but we gonna see. We might have to run back to the Pokemon Center after this fight. Level seven. That's not looking good. And I think Rattata's one of those Pokemon that definitely got buffed for the sake of a uh, ROM hack. Um, gonna have to Ember it here. And we're doing about 75%. If they quick attack, we're in trouble, but they don't, so we're fine. Okay, how much do you gain in experience? 42. Not even a level. Um... I do not want your number. Please leave me alone. Where's the whistle? There is no second trainer over here. Oh, she is the second trainer! Okay. <laughs> Usually there's like another youngster. Okay. So Badoo. At level 6. Yeah, I'm just gonna be, like, switch training a lot here, pretty much. Because I don't see how else we get oof to a higher level. And that's perfect, that's perfect. The fact that she's got a pretty weak grass Pokemon, we're just doing one damage. One damage is nothing. Ember coming through, and one shot, one shot, one shot, yes sir. Alright. Bada bing, gaba go. 43, so that's not bad either. Center it. I think I still want to switch out here. I know Oof is pretty low on health, but it's not like any of these early game Pokemon have Pursuit. So I'm not overly worried about it. Center it. That's a shame, because I want to be raising um, Eevee up as well. But that one's like, I don't know how I'm going to go about that. That's going to be its own doozy. It's not like my boy is really, like, doing the most right now, either. Uh, defense curl. There you go, there you go. Perfect. Taking minimal damage. So that's 36, not too much, but level 6 is good. Uh, C dot. Yes, let's switch out for C dot. Okay, this is going a little bit better than I thought it was going to, actually. I'm not upset, <laughs> but I wonder how far we can make it, though. How far can we make it? So, let's go ahead and switch out. Uh, I'm gonna move this over yonder. Bullet seed. Hopefully it hits like twice. 
That's a long animation. Goodness gracious. I'm gonna one-shot this thing and I'm gonna be so happy. Because it's wasting my time. <laughs> but I think I might actually run back to the, uh... The Pokemon Center after this, too. Alright, cool, cool, cool. One shot. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Cherubi. Ah. This also helps me see how much experience is on deck right now. Okay, so over half. For one trainer battle, getting almost to level 7, I think like that's pretty good. It's almost as if the Caterpie got there by itself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oof. Okay. That's gonna be... a KO. Alright, I actually didn't expect her to be a trainer. Because I always remember there is a, a female NPC out here, but I don't remember them ever being trainers. I think they actually specifically say that at one point, like, oh, I'm not a trainer. But if I were... <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. I feel like I need to talk to this guy on my left. Okay, never mind. I, I remember at certain parts of the game, there are people in these uh, Pokemon centers that actually uh, give you free Pokemon for like a quick little quiz. I guess he wasn't one of them. You know what? It's level 5. I'm actually going to go ahead and knock this out. Just because it's a Metapod. Alright, my boy. Hit him with that Gabagoo. Hit him with that Gabagoo. Alright, Ember? Yes sir, yes sir. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, my camera crooked as hell. <laughs> I just realized that. Level 7, perfect. Uh, oh. <laughs> I always like to see if I can make it through the grass without any interruptions. But this Caterpie thinks it's all that in the bag of potato chips. I'm gonna wanna raise Eevee soon. So Eevee's gonna worry me. Yeah, at some point I'm probably gonna have to play the game at night too, just so I can get Umbreon. Okay, the P is out. Level 15. Or no, 15 experience, I mean. Can you imagine? It wasn't even worth my time, really. Wait, is it this girl? I'm not a trainer. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I was talking about. I feel like this girl's gonna have a Jigglypuff, and I feel like it's gonna mess me up. I don't know why I have this instinct. <laughs> I just met you, and this is crazy. Let's have a battle. I'll win, maybe. See, something about this is like. Is it just gonna like pound and sing? Okay, that's not bad. Ember should do like at least half, I think. Yeah. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I don't think I'll go back to the PC after this match. I think I'll uh, just use up some potions. Let's use Skitty. What does Skitty do? Can you imagine if it had retaliate? <laughs> like something stupid this early? I'd actually cry. <laughs> Alright. My boy. Coming through. Once again. Growl. Okay, Growl's perfect. We don't care about physical when we use Ember. A special move. Half? Ooh, okay. Good, good, good. It's like a good 75, 80%. And bada bing, bada boom. Skitty's out. 
think uh, Oof might have gained another level after this one, right? Well, I gained like another 40 just now. Nah, I think we'll be shy. I think we'll do probably like another half of Ember, if we're lucky, if we got this. Ember. Growl. Perfect, perfect. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. And the Ember knocks it out. Perfect. And it's out. Cool. 43. Not enough, but it was a good amount. So this, I believe, is a new route, and a new encounter. Yeah, where do I want to do it, though? I'm like, nervous about it now. <laughs> do I need a potion up? Uh, yeah, 12, why not? It's a better half of 20. Do I ever go back into Dark Cave? I don't think so, right? So we could do another two encounters here? Oh, I shouldn't have done it with Metapod out, though. Okay! That'll be interesting! A flying psychic type? That'll be really interesting. With Air Cutter? Let's just go for the Ember. Hopefully it'll do just as much as it did to the trainers. It actually does less, more especially defensive. I don't think Air Cutter has a high crit ratio. Alright, so it's at a pretty low health. I think we're good for the capture here. I should really excited about this one now. One, two, we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. The tiny berry Pokemon usually forages for food on the ground. Alright. We're gonna name you something corny. I'm gonna call you Spirit. That's probably really corny. <laughs> Alright, um, bag, and let's go to potion. And let's just heal up my boy real quick. I think we're gonna use spirit, by the way. But the other thing is, we have a new encounter just up here as well. Because I don't think we ever returned to Dark Cave, if I remember correctly, like... I don't think we ever have a reason to. And our encounter here is... <sighs> don't mind if I scooby doo Okay. Okay, say less. Okay. <sighs> Alright, Sandstorm coming through. Um, God, it's on the timer now because we burned it too. That's not necessarily a good thing. Because now, like, we pretty much have to start spamming these balls. At least that's the way I see it. Immediately broke out. Immediately broke out. Do I go for another Ember? Do I go for another ball? I think I go for more balls, right? Like, we get, you know, hurt a bit more of whatever we potion up. Two. It rotates so slow in this one. And it gets me, man. It gets me every time. So my heart starts racing, man. I started getting excited about it. I want this Pokemon. Can you imagine the... Freaking Larvitar. Dude, that's gonna be fire for the gym, too. That's gonna be so good for the gym. Half health, it's burnt. We need you. One. 
only one. I see, this is the worst part because now it's it, it's on the clock, right? It's getting shorter and shorter and the HP is going to be gone at some point. I'll run out of H... Or it'll run out of HP before I run out of Pokeballs. I wish I could, like, give it a berry, give it a heal or something, a burn heal. Alright, no more Sandstorm. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm getting nervous, bro. It's red? Oh, it's red. It's red, it's red, it's red. One, two, three. <gasps> this is actually the last Pokeball. I don't even want to look. I'm just gonna listen to it. It's dead. It's dead. It's freaking dead. That one hurt. That one really hurt. That would have been perfect for the gym, dude. I'm very upset. Sound like a bug type every day. I spin a wreck. So disheartening, dude. I saw stars. The one where it had three and it still broke out. Oh my god. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Roof level eight. That would have been so good, man. I know it evolves late, but like. It's worth it. It's so worth it. So we have a potential pseudo on the team. Actually first, let's get I'm gonna stand, because I don't wanna catch a bubble on the switching. Ember. My boy involves a level 14 soon anyways. So we're coming up, we're coming up. Alright, alright. Let it ba, let it ba. Boy. Supersonic and it missed. That's fire actually. But now it's fire is December. Move flow. Or for the experience. And I really gained a whole lot of experience. I guess saying that that 40 EXP range. No, it is what it is. Oh, 
And I think this will put it at like... Eh. Probably about like a full third. What it needs, at least. Oh man, I'm so like... Can you tell I'm upset, dude? Like... <laughs> Titar would have made this run so good. So good. I'm still really upset about it. That one's not gonna go away easy. Probably, for sure, do it here. The thing is, like, Oof is pretty close to level 10. You'll evolve at level 10 with that Pokemon. And then, um, a part of me is kind of like kicking myself right now because it'll be nice to have a Butterfree and all that. It's not gonna be super helpful in that first gym, though. Um, but I'm gonna need like more power I, like it, it's kind of be the kind of thing where like i get it to level 10 and i'll put it in the pc um that was kind of like my thought process i guess i should have probably explained that from the beginning because that way like if the worst were to happen and we lose it all i want to have something in the pc so the run can continue essentially right now if all my pokemon get wiped out that's it man it's a wrap the challenge is over clearly i don't want that to happen right Fight, Ember, and then we really need to get to a Pokemon Center. But then we'll probably have to do a bit more like switch uh, grinding for uh, these other couple Pokemon, which I'm not super looking forward to. Oh god, it's not a battle, is it? The verse recorder. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Come on, there we go. <laughs> huh. God, I miss the DS stuff, man. This is nostalgia in this purest form to me. Alright. Pokemon for a few seconds, good stuff. I think that juggler in the back might be the guy that quizzes me. Alright, let's see if we can do something about that. Just want to make sure it's not this guy. Would you like to take a quiz? Yes. Excellent, let's get started. Question 1. Were there any Pokemon holding Pokemon on the table within Fire and Leaf Green? I, I want to say yes! Um, is Dragonair more than 13 feet long? Oh god. Dragoner's like 11 feet. Uh oh. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Alright, question one. Any home Pokemon? Yes. Question two? Yes. It's, I thought it was 11 feet. Uh, true the Bows was the first Pokemon created? No. It was right on. Final first question. Can Travis be found within Diamond and Pearl? trying to think about where if you could sure why not no and you can't <laughs> Jesus serious. okay question one one Pokemon yes Dragon more than 13 yes no and then the last question can Trapeus be found within diamond and pearl no where is it where is it you show me you tell me where that Pokemon is and maybe I'll believe you Oh, okay, so... What was a Charmander or Squirtle? I kind of... I feel like there's plenty of water Pokemon to be had. And I don't think I really need to be raising another Pokemon right now. So I think... God, I gotta be a cliche Gen 1 lover and pick Charizard. Yeah.
Gen 1. With an extra space. Cool. I do want to take a look at it, actually. Move, and... What do we have in the party here? One moves? Okay. Scratch Ember Ground smokes me. It's literally the exact same thing right now as Cyndaquil. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we need to be running around right now, raising too many Pokemon. I did want to get Metapod to level 10 to evolve it, but now I'm kind of wondering, like... I think I might box this one, too. I know we were working hard on it, but now that, like, we have a few extra Pokemon in the PC, like, I'm less worried about it now. Because, again, that was my, my selfie. My failsafe, essentially. Like, I just wanted to make sure that we had something there, so I wouldn't have to worry about it later. <laughs> alright, alright. So, Eevee coming through right now. Spirit in the back. I think, again, we're gonna have to, like, do some... Oh yeah, let me see real quick. Does air cutter? It does have a high crit ratio. That could have knocked us out, actually. That could have been trouble. All right, and then we will have one more encounter, probably for the rest of this episode. It's gonna be right here at Bell Sprout Tower. I do want to tackle this before we commit to the gym. Because we're just not ready for that gym, bro. If I remember correctly, it's tougher than I think it is. Which is weird, because it's Falconer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, alright. Zig Zag Goon. That's not good. <laughs> uh, like, it might be good if it has, like, pickup. If it has pickup, I'll leave it on the team just for that. I'm not gonna waste too many resources, you know, trying for it. We crit it. <laughs> sure. What else is new, I guess? <laughs> no more encounters! <laughs> it is what it is. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. Because I don't necessarily have to go into Cyndaquil here. I could potentially just take care of it with Spirit. I want to see how this goes. If it goes south, which will be really embarrassing against the Sun Kern. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Two damage. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Air Cutter. We're fine, we're fine. 43, Spirit gets 43. 43's not a lot for Spirit either. Eon. Alright, you, you'll level up after this next one. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Got this in the wraps. Growth? That's not really gonna help it too much. This is like Gen 4 growth. So Gen 4 growth didn't raise attack and special attack like it currently does. That was um that was new. <laughs> Another growth? But we outspeed it, so we're fine. We'll totally knock it out here. Okay. 72? That's actually a lot better. Probably because it wasn't a sunken we were facing. <laughs> And then Ralts, okay. I almost... Maybe Eon can take this one on its own. This one's just a Ralts. Tackle. Confusion. That might be an issue. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, they want to play like that. Okay. They want to play like that. Oh man, when you see that health bar going down, you kind of scream a little bit on the inside, bro. I think I'm just gonna give this one to Spirit. Like nothing, nothing silly here. Spirit, just get the experience, get the full experience. It'll be good. It'll be good. I'll put it to the next level for sure. I think there's a good amount of uh, Bell Sprouts here too, right? Like that's the whole theme of the tower. So like I think a lot of trainers have it. Good, good, good. 144. That's a new level. That's a new level. Let's go. I don't think the spirit is a very late evolution either. I think it's like level 26, if I remember correctly. Oh, speaking of evolution, boys. That boy's evolving. That boy's evolving. Alright, that's good. Man, I forgot what they look like in these. <laughs> They're so nice. They're so nice. Alright, very cool though, very cool. Alright, alright. Let's heal up a little bit. That was only the first battle. That was only the first trainer in that thing, dude. That's scary. Alright. And that's three. Oh. Hmm. It's gonna be a rough one. I can't believe we almost got one shot by a crit from Ralts. Oh, you know what? If it's a Gen 4, I don't think they're gonna have uh, the fairy type really implemented. <laughs> if Eevee had bite, might have been a little bit different. Alright, let's give it another go. Zigzagoon. I would have loved to have it if it had pickup. I'm just telling myself that it didn't have pickup, you know. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point? <laughs> I think level 18 is when we get flame wheel. At least that's what I'm hoping. I gotta do these battles off for the experience. Level 7. I don't know how tough Falconer is. I'm sure there's something I could look up that would tell me, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's battle this guy. Alright, alright. How many does he have? <laughs> Three. Not bad. Level 9. To our level 7. I think we might be able to clutch it out with Spirit, though. I think Spirit's definitely gonna do some work here. Not to mention it's good experience here. Alright, half. Full. One shot. Let's go. Easy dubs. Eon with 81. Spirit with another 81. Executes. I want to keep in Spirit just because I'm afraid of a hypnosis. It avoided the, the attack. Okay. I went for a Reflect. That's fine. Because no one's using physical moves. Maybe Eevee, you know. But that's it. Uproar. Okay, Uproar, literally the opposite of Hypnosis. <laughs> um, just hit it with another air cutter. I was like, what, a 95% accurate move? So I'm shocked that we missed that first one. 
Spirit was 189. Going to level 9. Very nice. It's on par now with other Pokemon in this tower. Wants to learn Teleport? Do I want to learn tele Teleport? It might be better than Ligure, actually. The only reason I say that is because like, I can teleport right now and be at the door. So, like, a utility, not so much like a battle. Poliwag. <laughs> Poliwag's gonna be an issue, actually. Because it has the hypnosis, it has the bubble. Actually, gonna sand attack here. I don't think bubble will destroy us. Actually, you get like a good couple sand attacks. Oh my gosh. We sand attack specifically for hypnosis. Man. Reflect wore off though. That's nice. I'm gonna try and sand attack again here in a second. It's actually missing quite a bit now. It hit the hypnosis, but it misses two, three bubbles. Just make sure that hypnosis keeps missing, you know what I mean? Hypnosis is the only thing hitting. That's insane. Watch it miss another, like, three bubbles in a row. One. Okay. It hit another hypnosis! It hasn't hit any bubbles, but it hit a hypnosis. Okay, that's the second bubble. Come on now. This guy start missing those hypnosis. One more, one more. Just miss. Just miss. Yes, sir. It finally missed its first hypnosis. That's insane, because that's a 55% accuracy to begin with. Level 8. Wants to learn Bite. That's perfect, yes. I'd love to learn Bite. Over... Helping Hand? We're not going to do any double battling, really. Awesome. Awesome. So, we actually took a lot of damage, just... We're taking a lot of damage off of the Sages, dude. You ever see that happen in the regular, like, Pokemon games? Like, you don't, because they're so weak. It's actually kind of impressive. They've made these... BOTS! These NPCs. Just a bit harder than you would ever expect them to be. And it's enough. It's enough. Alright, alright. Let's go ahead and see what we can do in here. Alright, cool, cool, cool. You know, I am really starting to like my team a bit more now, though. Like, we still take damage, but we're doing well. I almost kind of wonder if we could take the rest of the tower down now. Seaweed by itself will be a powerhouse. <laughs> a Starly! A level 11 Starly! Oh, snap! That's much stronger than uh, I was expecting. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do, though. We can attack. Pretty strong for a star, we? Jeez. Should have caught one of these. <laughs> Alright, Starly's out. God, that's still not a lot of experience. Okay. Now I'm worried. That was a level 11 Starly. I think that would have probably one or two shot my Eevee. Eon would not have lasted. 
Max Accuracy. That one Starly was stronger than any of these sages that we've come across so far. <laughs> Mareep. Okay, Mareep? I actually have an issue with. It's like, what do I switch in there? Tackle. Charge. Powering up its electric type moves. Raising special defense? Yes. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Goes for another charge. If it can go for like one more after this, gravy. Gravy. I'll take it. Like, I just need to go for another charge this turn. If it goes for growl. I'll take it, dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a W. Tackle. Down. 126, that's a level. Level 9. Send in Hoot Hoot. Um. <laughs> I might just do Spirit. Like, I want to just do Kulava and get it over with. But at the same time, like, these other Pokemon need levels. High crit ratio, come through. More hypnosis BS, dude. I swear to God, if I had to make another trip to the Pokemon Center. Why? Why? Goes to Air Cutter Me. Okay. Ugh. I can't survive another one. I'm gonna have to go back to the <laughs> uh, Pokemon Center. Remember, that should one shot it from there. Awesome. God damn. 61. Send out Oddish. No, I'm just gonna one shot it. All right, all right. And it's down and out. Down and or out. Cool. 480. I don't think I have an awakening. No, I have a paralyzer. I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Jeez. whole lot of nothing. Alright, what you got? What you got? What you got? Another level 11 star, they do. The thing is, I don't even know if I can run away from it. Nine damage. Have to heal up just to fight a wild Pokemon, bro. Isn't that something? <laughs> Quick attack. Oh, that's not. That's close. That's close. <sighs> Don't like where this is going. God, I don't like where this is going at all. <laughs> How many times now have we made this trip? I wanted to bet the kid in that house still trades you, uh, something for an Onyx. 
What was it, a Bell Sprout before? Bell Sprout for the Onyx? Just curious. I'm gonna go check. Oh, wait, it's not a kid. Do you have Rhyhorn? For a Gligger? Where am I getting a Rhyhorn from? So if I had a Rhyhorn, I definitely wouldn't give it up just yet. That would go to the gym first. <laughs> and maybe on the way out. Where am I getting the Rhyhorn from? Oh, probably the Dark Cave. Dark Cave again, dude. <laughs> Bringing that shit up. That is just the worst feeling. Pidgey, level 10. I think I'm busting out my boy again, just because I think it's close to level 15. <clears throat> alright, alright. Let's just Ember it. No, we're just running away. <laughs> just running away now. Alright, alright, alright. Let's head on over here. Head on over there. Or not. Doof. Oh, oh, Eon has run away. Oh, that guarantees an escape every time. Had I known. Actually. I probably should have known because I did check its ability, but I just saw that it wasn't adaptability and I gave up. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. What item is this? A potion, okay. So we're gonna go through the gauntlet now. Alright. Very good, very good. Oh, one lone bell sprout. Probably share the experience here with uh with not tooth, with spirit. Razor leaf. We're using razor leaf on us now. Not very effective, but can you imagine though? I don't think there's a one shot. We're one shotting like level tens, but not twelves. Oh, growth, that's perfect. That's perfect. Throw some of that on there. Alright. Call that a day. 108, that will bring it. Yes, sir. To level 10. Awesome. Alright, Sage Jin. Made him hurt. Yes, sir. Oh, I forgot to talk to him. It's faster if you just talk to him. That's right, Flash is what you get out of this. I think this entire thing is optional. Psyduck. Psyduck's actually kinda nice here. I don't think Psyduck will hurt us too bad. Water gun. Another water gun. How much damage does that do to us now then? mind using a potion here. I know we just got one. Probably save him. Should probably go buy more realistically. I told Mama, give me my money. Don't touch it. <laughs> 16 points though. I'm just doing about 8. Did about 9 that time, but it was a higher damage roll. But not every roll is going to be the same. Are we speed tied? Is that what's going on here? Tackle it, because I know we'll live. Unless it crits, but we live. It's not comfortable, though. That's 187. Ooh, that's a level one, son. Yes, level 10. Perfect. 
some Natsu. Natsu, I think I'm going into my boy. And then hopefully if the last Pokemon's Bellsprout, that's going to Natsu. I guess I'm off with the first Pokemon? I just kind of realized that now. That's wild. We got the crit! We got the crit. 171. That's a level. And then some. Bulbasaur is the last Pokemon. Okay. I kind of really like Spirit for this one. So I do want to check something real quick. Because I'm not entirely sure on the damage numbers. And uh, that'd be nice to know. So Confusion does 50. I could have 55. Okay. I'd rather use Red Cutter then. This seems like the better move. Goes for Growl. Couldn't have done it better. Sorry, my dog's just being cute right now. I keep looking over at him. Confusion. Connects. And 150. That's not quite a level though. But it's good. It's good. Okay. Bag. Wow, we only have two potions. So I always makes me wonder, is it worth <laughs> potioning up? Uh, I don't remember if we get into a fight with our rival. I don't think we do. We're gonna do two things. We're backing out. And then we're gonna go... We're gonna go to the Pokemon Center. And we're gonna go to the Pokemon Mart. God. Eon. Oh fuck, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> My wife, uh took a bath, but we have two bathrooms, and one bathroom that we have, that scared the shit out of me, dude. The one bathroom that's here in the stream room is the one with the bathtub. And we've kind of surrendered the bathtub to the child, and we just use the standing shower in the other bathroom. <laughs> so she took a bath today, because uh, she said she wasn't feeling the best, and she just wanted to like relax, lie down in the water, see if that helps. And she took the baby seat out of the, the bathtub. Just scared the shit out of me when it fell. <laughs> Caught me off guard, not gonna lie. Caught me slipping. <laughs> alright, alright. What do I need? Oh god, let me tell you. <laughs> um, let's do like four. Potions are expensive. What do you use all up there? Just curious. Mail? And Quick Balls. I don't know how effective Quick Balls are in this game. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do 10. Just like so at the Premier Ball. And then I'm, I'm gonna do one Quick Ball. The Quick Ball is as effective as I want it to be. Sure. We, m we might stick with Quick Balls. Just curious. I've never used a Quick Ball outside of like... I think I really started using Quick Balls with Gen 8, actually. Because I know a lot of people, like, they... They use them, like, all the time. Bro, if you guys remember this, actually, now that it jogged my memory. At some point, people were getting really mad at shiny hunters. Because there are some shiny hunters that don't care about the ball that the Pokemon goes into. They just want the Pokemon. Which is fine, right? Like, sure, that's the point. Roll with it. But they were catching Pokemon in, like, Quick Balls and stuff, and that's what really set these people off. And I'm kind of over here like, bro, just let them play the game the way they want. It's not your shiny Pokemon. Me, personally, I go... I, I'm a little... I'm a bougie ass bitch. I like to catch my Pokemon and Luxury Balls. And that's not... 
It's not the flex that I you think I'm pretending it is. Like, it's not a, like a money thing or like a status thing in the Pokemon world. Um, it's just my favorite design for a Pokeball. That one, I think the Great Ball is. Great slash Lure Ball. Should I do a top 10 Pokeball video? <laughs> I think that'd be fun. I need to do more uh, fighting game content, actually, on the channel. That's what I really need to do. I do really wish this Eevee had adaptability, though. Would have made this so much better. Alright. Ah, oh, man. You gotta stop me right at the series, bro. Silly Pidgey. Is it faster than me? Oh, God. If I start missing. <laughs> Tackle, missed. All right, I'm just running. I'm not, I'm not bothering with all of that. It's a bit much, no? All right, let's battle this guy. Let's see how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust them a lot. I mean, they're on the team. Abra, that's pretty good. So I don't know if this is gonna be like a gimmick Abra where it starts doing some weird stuff, like hidden powers. Try to teleport. That's perfect. Let me bite you. Num num. <coughs> One shot. One shot. Good stuff. And a level 11. Hoot. Hoot. Do I want to stay in? I think I... Uh, I'd prefer to switch out here. Just because Hoo Hoo's kind of a problem child. Um, but if there's a stronger grass type Pokemon, like sure, uh, we might be able to knock it out with Kolava, my boy. But I think Natsu Spirit would just do as much work. For sure. Our cutter comes through. Perfect, perfect. Quick attack. Let's get it out of here. Get him out of here. Gabagoo. And it's out. 148, not bad. About to send out Hopip. Hopip goes to Spirit. And my boy's the ace, but it's not looking super good right now for these guys. Uh, hopefully this KO here is gonna be enough to get it to at least level 11. Then depending on what the last Pokemon is, I think I'd want to uh, see Eon do a bit more work. Air cutter comes through, and that's it for Hop Hip. Hip! Hip hop! Hip hop and ominous! <laughs> Alright. If you found that funny, you're probably as old as I am. <laughs> Executes. Ah, man. Do I switch out? I think I switch out. Leon is level 11. Oof. How'd I miss that? Oh, it might have just happened. With that Abra. So I think it's part psychic already. Yeah! Flinch? Reflex. Not good. Bite. Wow, that cuts it down a lot. And we're asleep. It's not what you want to see. Switch off into uh, Spirit. Mega Drain? That's fine, that's fine. And this next hit is gonna knock it out for sure. Alright, Air Cutter. Call it a day. One twenty six, not bad, not bad. That could have been a whole level if it was just for one Pokemon. All right, I don't have an item for it though. That's the rough part. I just risk it. 
Well, do I omit Eevee for a while? Elemental Stone. An Elemental Stone. I forgot. I, didn't, I straight up did not remember that he gives you an Elemental Stone. I say, why don't I just try to like wake him up to this? He gets low on health, we heal him up. It's not gonna save his sleep forever. He unlocks cup, good stuff. And a tackle, and we can just run away now. And actually, that's perfect because a potion will bring it exactly back to 34. Oh my gosh. Bag, I am just like a nervous wreck now. It's like, I don't, I don't know if we're strong enough to fight this guy right now. Like, do I just leave it all up to my boy? I think I do, right? I don't know if this was the right move. Four Pokemon starts with Bellsprout at level 12. Okay, that's not awful. Because now I feel comfortable like like Spirit could have taken this down. That's 216. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Shingling. I think I leave that one up to Eon. I think Chingling can do some damage with its psychic type moves. Oh, I'm thinking of Chimeco. Chingling is true. <laughs> call it a day. Call it a day. Actually, I don't know. Because Ross almost knocked me out at one point. And that wasn't that wasn't a good feeling. So we're doing more damage than it. I just hope that we don't get confused, basically. It was a speed tie! We were speed tied with Chingling! Oh, that's clutch. That's clutch. 189, that's not a level. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo's a problem, as we've discussed multiple times. What's the last Pokemon then? It has a Chingling, it was a Hoo Hoo, it was a Bell Sprout. What Pokemon do these guys have? One of them had a Mareep, I think, right? But no way, Mareep is his last Pokemon. It looks like Hoo Hoo might be his ace, actually. That level 14 mark. What are you doing with agility, huh? What you think you're doing there, son? Just wants to go first, I guess. But was it worth? Was it worth? Hypnosis. You're kidding me. Hypnosis. Okay. There he is. What are you doing to me, son? I need to wake up and needs to use an ember, and then the next attack is a quick. It's a quick one. Oh my god. That's three turns of sleep. That's the max sleep though. Confusion's not gonna. Oh. You're kidding! I'm four turns of sleep? I thought that had a max of three. I am not losing to the Hoot Hoot right now. No, sir. I need December to hit. I need to wake up. I need to be not confused. This Hoot Hoot got so lucky. This Hoot Hoot got lucky as hell. 174 after that. And Cherubi. Cherubi I am gonna give over to uh, Spirit. I am so kind of upset that we're not at the right levels, I think. 
I think we wasted too many efforts trying to get Metapod out, just to end up having a Charmander on deck. Maybe my thought process was wrong. Was I wrong? Hmm. Warning song. It's just healing itself. Are you kidding? Now I'm seated. Alright, I'm gonna try for one more. Alright, we hit. Perfect. It's flashing. Dude, that's the worst. I think I'm switching out. I didn't expect Truby to troll this hard. Oh my god. What? Oh, I can't. Are you telling me I can't switch out? With teleport? Why not? It's not gonna let me. Oh, I always thought Leech Seed prevented you from switching. Dude, if I knew this Pokemon was gonna be such a problem, I would have never switched out. <laughs> Magical Leaf. That's a pretty weak move. Yes, sir. It's it's one of my favorite moves actually, but it's pretty weak. In the grand scheme of things. 87. That was not worth the hassle. <laughs> alright, alright. So I did pose a question in episode 0. What should I evolve Eevee into? But, you know, I, I didn't promote the episode like I should have. And uh, I'm just gonna go with my favorite. I'm gonna go with my favorite, Umbreon. Let me tell you though, before Umbreon was my favorite, it was definitely Jolteon. Alright, alright. This episode went on a bit longer than I wanted it to. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and open my bag. Actually, I don't know what it's under. Is it under Serenade Orb? Use it. Yes, sir. Team's looking pretty nice now, baby. Looking pretty nice now. All right, and that said, I'm also going to go and head. <coughs> going to go ahead and save. Wow, it's already save file. Yes, go ahead and overwrite. And thank you guys for joining me on this one. It's been pretty nuts. <laughs> it's been a long episode, but I want to make sure that I did it right. An hour minimum is going to be what these episodes are coming out to. So thank you guys so much again for your support. This one I'm definitely going to be promoting a lot more than Episode Zero. Um, but all I ask is uh, that you keep on tuning in. And uh, again, if you guys are deciding to do something like this with me, let me know. Let me know. I would love to check it out. Otherwise, you guys have a good one.